Check this out. I matched energy at some point. Did you cheat? Yeah. Did you match that energy? Um, so we got another cheated. tip for chat. The dad who they cheat with, it's usually somebody they slept with in the past. For her to start a new relationship with a man, she's not doing it for the sex. She's doing it to leave the relationship. Yeah. Doing a tit for tat. How did you feel? I don't think I feel bad about it. Mm. Like even now. I'll help you Looking feel back. bad about it now. You may just be for the street. When a man cheats, in order for him to get a girl, he has to be valuable to some degree. He has to do something right to get the girl that he's cheating with, right? Because women just don't sleep with anybody. Mm -hmm. When a woman cheats, she did everything wrong. Damn, she might be a hoe. Everything wrong. Because a woman's value is tied to her sexuality. A man's value isn't tied to his sexuality at all. She slept with more people. She's not, she's more likely to cheat. And if a guy has slept with more people, it's not the same. Okay. Women tend to make permanent decisions off of temporary feelings. And that permanent decision decreased your value. Biologically, men are predisposed to do what? To reproduce. And for that, we need to have paternity guarantee. That's why virgins are very highly valued through history. We want to guarantee a paternity. We want to make sure the kids are our kids. Yeah, you're insecure because you wouldn't take a chick with a high body count. That just sounds like a chick with a high body count. Doesn't want to take accountability for her action. A girl becomes a hoe when she has to start lying about how many people she slept with. Automatically, you're a hoe then. But as a man, we know that pair bonding decreases with a woman that has a high body count. A woman comes on and accuses a fellow of being the father of her twins. Since I've told you before, I don't know the result. I open up the envelope and the guy is the father of one, but not the other. <laughs> Per, what I mean is, when I first got married, I was the breadwinner. A lot of people say, oh, why would you get married, da 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 man's supposed to take care of a woman, da 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 I have seen so many relationships crumble because women have low-quality friends that they seek advice from, that then give them bad advice, ramp them up. But also, most of the time, those friends are in either marriages they hate or they're single and they want company. Yeah. So they're like, oh, let me wreck her situation. Misery loves company. I knew what type of husband my a man, my husband, was even in our, our, our when we first got together, right? I knew that it would not always be that way. How do and you know? If a woman not going for what you, and you know you prove your worth every time, like you really step about who you say you are, bro, don't beg no woman to see your value. Because of his patterns. When he said he was gonna do something, he did it. Most Ricky. women don't need a man because they think that a woman can do this, this, and this yeah. by themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A man can do those same things by itself. We can wash our own clothes, That's cook what I our said. own food. Just like a man don't need a woman. Right, but I don't agree with that part. We need each other, baby. You feel me? You feel me, though? All the way around the spectrum. I don't care if we talking mentally, spiritually, intellectually, <laughs> financially, or sexually. We need each other. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow. And y'all be good.